afternoon, everyone. I want to give you the latest regarding Hurricane Milton. As mentioned, uh, the winds are at 145 miles per hour. Uh, that is about 12 miles per hour shy of a Cat 5. So it has been weakening just a little bit, uh, but it is getting eerily very close uh, to the shoreline and will make landfall later on tonight. It's moving at a speed at northeast at 17 miles per hour, so picking up speed. So those hurricane force winds are going to be felt across a large portion of a Florida why they have the hurricane warning in effect. We've also seen that tornado watch and multiple tornadoes already reported. And so that is another concern. And these heavy rain bands have already been moving in. So that flooding concern is going to continue to increase. And of course, that surge could get in that 10 to 15 foot range. Rainfall amounts could be in some places over a foot. So this is going to be very destructive in many different ways. And the other thing is with it weakening a little bit, you would think, okay, you know, the wind field, it's going to be a little weaker. No, actually the wind field starts to expand in size. So that's why there are even those tropical storm warnings far north and southern portions of the state of Florida. So the wind field will be expanding and the winds may come down just a little bit more before landfall just after eight o'clock. So it'll be offshore at eight PM, the eye, and it will be a cat three still at that point in time, it'll weaken some and then continue that journey eastward as it continues to weaken as well. So no impacts here. Back here at home though, we are tracking a few clouds out there. No rain now. That overnight shower chance obviously went away earlier this morning. And as we head into this evening, a spot downpour or shower can't be ruled out as this upper little sis level system kind of swings on through. So you'll notice uh, maybe a little damp ground tomorrow morning but tomorrow morning through the afternoon it is looking a uh, beautiful fall weather even cooler than what we're going to be experienced today live in new london it's beautiful with blue sky it's 63 degrees southwest wind blowing at nine miles per hour right now the temperatures are ranging from those mid and upper 50s across the hills to the lower 60s and we'll get close to the normal for this time of year the breeze is going to start to increase too it's already starting to pick up from that west northwesterly direction generally uh, from about 5 to 10 miles per hour, but the gusts are starting to climb into that 15 to 20 mile per hour range. So we will continue to see that gusty wind as we go through today and tomorrow. That wind, though, is going to help mix the air enough that that threat for frost is uh, going away for tomorrow morning. So a first alert once upon a time for that concern goes away for a day or so. It looks like Friday, though, we'll have that chance for some frost. Now, forecast highs today, we're getting up to 67 in Enfield, 65 Middletown, 62, meanwhile, in Torrington. So seasonal weather. Now, we talked about the, and hinted at the chance of seeing the northern lights. Now, in the past week, there's been these little substorms you've heard about, and the last week, it looked like we had a pretty good chance, and it just didn't materialize. But there was, uh, you know, picked up by the Space Weather Center, they are picking up a, a strong flare headed towards Earth. And so this is going to be uh, resulting in us seeing a good chance of seeing the northern lights tomorrow night into Friday morning, and the weather should cooperate. And then we're going to be talking about those temperatures warming up for the first part of the weekend. All right. Thanks, Jill.